Baja Lunga Lemonade, how was it? Oh, it oh, it was pretty good. It wasn't like something I would get all the time, but four, it wasn't bad. Kakamon had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, I've been drinking a hell of a lot of Dr. Pepper coconut for sure. <laughs> This one right here. It's not bad. Not really something I'll get again, but it's all right You do a lot in your car. Oh, I I do a lot. I, I drive a lot that that's basically my second home slash office Like that. That's basically what it is is my office Like uh, to be honest with you <laughs> You're back you're on my team. I'm, I've always been back. There's quite the crowd here today. Three geniuses. There's no one here. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ron May doesn't Come like pick me up. We could try a spicy food challenge. Bet. <laughs> I, so I asked the researchers to keep. I don't know how much more my gut can do of the spicy food now. It's been kind of acting weird lately. I, I, I need to do some more spicy stuff. Her as well, but she declined the offer. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. I don't get as it either. Happy. You were I on my team, but I demoted you. Snacks and pastries. So I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. That's disgusting. Uh, would I be able to meet Ruan May? Is Ruan May a good person? Well, that's like asking, is Herda a great person? I, I don't know if oh, May oh, is the, answer the is obvious. right pronunciation. Miss Ron May is the very image Ron May! Of the hey! I heard she once took a little But my address is one well, Oh, I thought you were going to do By binary for a left, second. She miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life helix system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She looks like a hermit. Pity. Pity. Anyway, <laughs> what Pity. needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner? Hmm? Hurry up and head out. Huh? See if you can find her. Where is Ron May now? I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and, and the rail. I should platform. also. Maybe you can start your search there. I should also do this. So that way I could have a thumbnail. Hey, did that work? Print screen. I, I need a thumbnail. I'm gonna get a nice thumbnail with my ass in it. Yeah, I'll go check it out. Uh, heard of surveillance team. You already know me invited. Okay, invited spill. Looks like we're in for some juicy news. Oh, we are. Don't leak this from the chat. I'm gonna leak it all. Ron May is coming to the space station. She's already here. You're getting slow with your gossip. You really are something. But we're still preparing for the welcome ceremony. Ron May doesn't appreciate it. I heard she's a loner even among the geniuses. Damn, that, that sucks ass. So all our work was for nothing? Why didn't you give a heads up ahead of time? Herd has also turned a blind eye to what she does. That's the big shot special treatment. Stop working hard. Stop it. This is what you get when you work hard. You seem pretty enlightened. I am very enlightened. I'm always enlightened. Apparently Miss Ron May's personality isn't all that great. Word, is there ever a genius who's normal? Skrillum seems pretty chill. Okay, fine, I'll give you that. Cool. All right, we done? We done talking? Are we done with the mother flipping talking? Are we done? All right. All right. Oh god, I'm going to be like so far ahead of all the levels here. Uh go to the herd of space station supply zone, teleport. Going to go straight to the supply zone, teleport. Uh Bubbles are floating in the air with colorful glow gliding on their surfaces. For some reason, they form an image that seems to carry a profound meaning. Okay. Leave. I don't want to touch the bubble. I don't There's want your god dang bubble. Platform. 
could she be? I have a feeling you're on the right track. I'm gonna check the data when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> I the my dude breathes way Never too much. You. What's up, Ron May? This is a work habit of mine. Oh shit. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction Better thumbnail. as a living organism. All right. Oh. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. Damn, like perfect I'm a specimen. Oh yeah. Uh, we finally meet. There's a bit of cake on the corner of your mouth. Okay, don't be weird. Yes, I'm happy to meet you too. We've met before in the simulated universe. We did, did we? I expect the views here had me lost in thought. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Come here. Look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Uh, take a bite or no, I'm good. Hmm. I guess I'll take a bite. I'll take a bite of this cake right here. See how it tastes. Delicious tastes desserts good. Desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest oh. this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. I hope you like it too. It was delicious. Thank you. You ate Ron May's snack? So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Mmm. He likes a lot of them strawberries. An outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar. One dried and salt preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled. Planning must be meticulous. And one must not panic. I'm not going to lie. She has good what looking happens? legs. I, I will say that. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way, do you remember what my research is about? Nope, not a clue. Only that it's about biology, something about nurturing life forms. Oh, he doesn't know either. Uh, biology. No, my research area is short stories about toilets. Huh? What? What's going on? What, what am I talking about? <laughs> what the I hell? See. What a cute hobby. But remember, the next time something like this happens, <laughs> it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, that was funny. You'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? Uh, what do you mean? What did you do to me? What did you feed me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I say what I want to say? What the hell? <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right. I'll give you the recipe. I don't want the recipe. I Come didn't say that. with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. Okay. As the masses depart. This is weird. There's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've ventured to in the past. It's so weird seeing a venturing do this. A <laughs> lifeless world. From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the great teal star illuminates an endless sea of white across both oh. the sky and land. 
My mother that, that's and I just navigated weird. Kong glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. I'm just walking. You're taking too it was long. Like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. <clears throat> the process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. Oh, she just stopped. On, whenever I come across oh, a familiar scene, I have to wait on her. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't mm. interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. A few days ago, I made minor a adjust. What the Herta. hell did you do to me, lady? My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, that's, I added anti truth serum kinky. to this design. <laughs> it will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Treat it oh. as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Okay. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Problems you don't trust me, I'm still upset? Well, I mean, I'm not going to say what I actually mean anyway. Does that bother you? I oh, believe okay, I guess I did. To be frank with each other, but that needs time. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention really? of Did you bring it back? Nine circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. Mm. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. <laughs> she call them dumb. <laughs> Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. Those little bastards. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. Oh my god, always needing something from me. Okay. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. Okay, I sounds good. This to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Cool. All right. Yay! All right, let's go talk to them. Uh, where? Oh, control zone. Oh, right outside Herda's office. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get some coins or whatever the hell from this shit. Credits. What, what are you doing? State your business and stop blocking my view. There are strange bubbles at the space station. Oh, this is top secret. Uh, outsiders can never know that I own this thing. You must sign a non-disclosure agreement first. Fine, I'll sign it. Great. You take the paper and pen. Please bear in mind that this agreement is more than a legal binding contract. You must also abide by the law of the imaginary, which is above the social and nature laws. Not even the IPC can override it. Law of the imaginary is law of the universe and the world, the only unbreakable law. Now that you have signed the agreement, you could uh, do anything you like with the memory bubbles. Just make sure you're out of sight of entities from the Garden of Recollection. In fact, I don't think there will be any trouble even if they catch you. Can I touch the bubble now? Sure, just touch it with your forehead. Remember to close your eyes or your head will start spinning. Alright, I'm going to go touch the bubble real quick then. I want to touch the bubble! Uh, okay. Touch the bubble. You approach the bubble and uh, experience a chilly sensation that gently appears through your skin, flesh, and bones, and it goes down deeper. 
In your view is a stretch of sticky, unruly, and unattractive red mud. Some part of it is even squirming. If it occurs to you that... Oh. Oh, this place seems to be the Royal Council Chamber of the Clayman. You, you have forgotten why you are attending this meeting, but you know it's a golden opportunity to pry out the precious minerals from the bellies of the Clayman. The meeting room reverberates with muffled go gobbling noises. It sounds like the whines of despair made by a person drowning in a swamp as mud slowly uh, blocks off the air their airwaves. This is the Clayman's race's language, but you can't understand a word of it. You have yet to implant a syn synthesia beacon. The meeting is boring you to tears. Oh, Cal says anyone can speak their mind. The interpreter relays to you. The clay queen gazes at you and you wonder where the queen's eyes are. Uh, this mission rests upon our shoulders. Together we will defend Calcis from the calamity that is the wet season. The clay king is overcome with emotion. Meanwhile, you stare out the window, racking your brain as you ponder what kind of texture the meat of the clay sheep would have. I don't care! I just wanted to see what the bubble did! You know what? I'm, I'm skipping through this shit. Go away, bubble. I just got a, hun a thousand credit for listening to some bullshit. Navigate. Yeah, navigate. I want to navigate there. All this free time. What? Why, why am I lagging? With the game. Why am I lagging? I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? Mm -hmm. Why am I lagging? Wait, what? What? What the hell is going on with the computer? Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm good now. Alright. Stupid space bubble. Screw you. Up yours. There's another one. I don't want to touch it. It's just going to make me say a bunch of shit. <laughs> Ecology what? researcher. A place where the space station stores... Dangerous experimental results? Uh, yes. Oh, I forgot to put the auto Why thing back on. Wanna know that? God damn it! Did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? Yes. I'm not doing any I'm gonna private kick business your on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Are you sure? I didn't even ask. I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? Uh, I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I heard there are some problems on the space station. You know, you're very upset for someone who's supposed to be in innocent. Ron May is asking for me to recover the leaked experimental specimens. I'll solve the space station's problems. Oh. So, I really can't say anything about her. Okay. Well, I can't say that. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you okay. want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll hey, I got answers out of them for that. All right. So I just need to keep lying about Ron May. And then, like, people will tell me what I want to hear. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we're gonna go in here. Gonna go in here. There's so many people, and this seems to be the place. Check out the disturbance. Try to create life. Ask around for information about Ron May. Uh, maybe I need to create life. Hey, that guess what I got my hands on? What on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. Oh wow. It That's says, pretty cool. 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly Whoa. intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? I can. Let's I can give it believe a shot, it. shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Uh, constantly burning passion, a confidence that came out of nowhere, courage to drink two bottles of Capo Cali in one go. Hmm. Let's do a confidence that came out of nowhere. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. 
Uh, IQ, EQ, or beauty? Let's do IQ. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Hmm. Ron May frowns. The corner of Ron May's mouth twitches. Uh, Ron May is expressing her emotions. Ron May is expressionless. Uh, let's see. Suppressing Yikes. her emotions. Take a look at what you just cultivated. Oh God. Oh wow. You've nurtured a coriander sesame, whatever. All right. I don't know what to do with you now. You seem cute though. Oh, you are cute. E beep. Well, that's that's very sweet. Investigate. Okay. Uh, force shut down. Oh, okay, cool. I just helped the robot. Whoop de flip and do. Okay. Uh. Oh, I got a level thirty nine in here now. Okay, so it does match my level or tries to. You know what? I'm gonna kick your ass first before I continue. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and kick your ass. You, son, you sons of bitches. And a trotter. Alright. No huh? The dice have been cast. Bust. A nut. Take it off. Who will it be? I hit the mark. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Gonna kick that trotter's ass. Stars. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Evening, Trouble. evening, Budgie. How are you doing? <laughs> Wahoo! This is a game. Alright, and Who invited you? Get rid of that little <laughs> shit. Goodbye, Trotter. Uh -huh. Got free <laughs> shit. Goodbye. Damn dog! Kick their ass! As if victory were ever in doubt. You're doing a 3D print right now? Hell yeah. That's cool. My buddy Havoc used to do there 3D so prints all the time. And this seems to be the place. Check out the disturbance. Uh okay. Already investigated that. I heard Madame Ronme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh do you know what her favorites are? Ron May likes plum blossom cakes that are freshly salted. Uh, yeah. I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. So, I really can't say anything about her. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep Did doing I that. Ask about your favorites? Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. That's hilarious. It's supposed to be the no Wi-Fi dinosaur should be finished in an hour or so. Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us I'm gonna all. Look this up. What's our slogan again? One. Stop complaining. Shut oh, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what the no Wi-Fi dinosaur is. Stop the flow of negative energy. Two. Energize yourself. Increase your capacity for action. Okay. And on the path of a molten sheet. That's pretty cool. Tart. Conviction. I was trying to think on what you were talking about, but I'm like, oh wait, I've seen that. Yeah, it's on Chrome. Is the best. Who is Molten Cheese Tart? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Molten Cheese cool. Tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those you you are on my Discord, right? If you're on my Discord, send me a picture. And affection for Miss Ron May. Uh, how about Screwlem's followers? What about Steven's followers? Mmm, Screwlem. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Screwlem's followers are all very yeah, send me a picture logical, of it. but I they're see just it. awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Hmm. <clears throat> Since the, the, so the face doesn't match the voice, and it's kind of weird. I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese. The honorable you molten cheese. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron may. Oh my been. God! If you're sincere enough, the honorable molten oh, cheese talk will show itself. Oh my God! I gotta do so much work. 
It's too much. Uh, ask around for information. Ron May, member eighty-one of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and molten cheese. Epitome of life form cultivation. Uh, apparently, there's a molten Research cheese tart I've heard somewhere. So much about her for so long, but once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. I want to know about the molten cheese shark. Herta is spoiling Never on me. Fear, the galactic baseballer is here. <laughs> I, I love that. Okay, so that's hilarious. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. <sighs> Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her taste is. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Oh, they gave me two answers that have her name in it. Ron May likes to listen to new style opera. Ron May likes to listen to new style storytelling. No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. Uh. So, I really can't say anything. Yeah, I can't say <sighs> shit. Expected. You look like you belong at a comedy skit yourself. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, you fucking bitch. That's not cool. Yeah, I've already investigated here. I've already investigated. I've already investigated. Hey, guess what I got my hand? It says. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can... Yikes. Oh, nice. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, cool. So, let's... Oh, wait. Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Uh, graffiti. Okay. Please uh, spray graffiti in the target area in accordance with the different requirements. Click here to switch gra graffiti types. Click the spray button to spray graffiti in target area. Whoa, okay. Did I do it? I did not do it. Uh, yeah, there. Oh. Place as many likes as you can. Okay. I don't know if that's what it meant or not. Oh, wait, nope. Uh... There. Oh. Okay, I I did not get that. Molten cheese and graffiti. What does this game not have? Uh, more more titties. <laughs> um. So th is the I'm kidding. By the way. Ron May made. Okay. That's really weird. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. Oh, this is the molten cheese tart. That makes for? sense. Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia. Oh, uh, synesthesia beacon. Uh, Wakaka, I'm a genius. The molten cheese the tart. Oh, geniuses. God. Actually made my voice immediately deactivate this uh, specific synesthesia beacon. Woof woof woof. I, that was way too risky. It's a pile of dough, not molten cheese. To, right? It's really weird that it also barks like a dog apparently, and it purrs like a cat. Molten cheese tot says, Madam Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Whoa! That's crazy. Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ron May recognize me as a masterpiece? Nope. Not at all. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. Absolutely. So enthusiastic indeed.
There's a kind of attachment reserved. How do you know what it's saying? To the world, you are but one person. How do you but know? To me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madam Ronme. All right, y'all are yes, parasocial you. as shit. Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? Nope. You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. I don't. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of grade bean paste, would we? The fuck are you talking about? Uh, there's no way Ron May would like you. I follow Molten Cheese Tart. Uh, I want to know what he says if I say this. You heartless dessert. I almost forgot. I can't say anything about yep. Ron May. Bro spent years learning the dialect, right? Oh, Apparently so. Quiet! Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. Oh, God, dude. You are it's freaking me so the F out. Ron May's attention. I could see, see that. The honorable molten cheese tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. Gray bean the paste. What the? Cheese tart is a firm believer that what the hell? To be optimistic. They both hope to receive All right. Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. Working so hard. Uh, so are you supposed to eat this sentient thing? Uh. God, I hope not. I think it would taste like ass, to be honest with you. Uh, how did Ron May make desserts into life forms you like You like the taste? Oh, God. What? Am I eating that? Of course. It's not like we have any followers of gray bean paste here. Uh, all the what ones who the came here to stir up trouble have been converted by us. They went from refusing what the hell? molten cheese tart to loving it. This is called conceptual annexation of taste. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite molten cheese tarts. Okay, I don't feel parties. comfortable talking about eating Why this thing. It like, it, no. It? It's clear mm. that it It's also, for her like, love. no. Uh, what kind? What kind of love? Love from the creator to a creation. This guy is definitely the weird kid in school. Agreed. Right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Well, no one asked you to do that. Remember, as long as love Molten is your cheese tart! Track. And in the wise words of the honorable Molten Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. I don't think that's what it said. Can I talk alone with the molten that, cheese tart? That depends if the honorable tart agrees to it. I want to be an honorable tart. <laughs> oh, the honorable molten cheese tart has agreed. Okay, dude. I, I really need you to, like, shut up. You try to communicate with the creation and it got away. Uh, you could throw those little monsters in here. I think you're lying. Can I talk alone with a molten cheese tart? Yeah. I don't know what's happening, man. This is weird. Dead serious. This is one. This is a one-way passage with the other end connect to the storage zone. It's extremely safe. All right, cool. All right. Accommodate the creation. The creations out here. What's over here? Anything interesting happening over here? Oh, there's stuff flying around out here. Let's kick some ass real quick. Let's get a little bit of action like midway in this. No manners, huh? <laughs> Hedge your bets. Spend freely. Yeah. Right, goodbye. And sure, boom shakalaka and boom shakalaka. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I like getting the easy kills. As if victory were ever in doubt. All right, anything important over here? I don't think so. Let me in. 
Entered safe zone. Everyone's healed. Break that. All right, cool. And now I need to go all the way around. Feeling lucky. I did not mean to do that. I overpressed. What the hell? And my screens went off. And Herta's over there. I don't want to talk to her. Okay, well, this is the only way I could go. What the hell? God damn it. Alright. Let's go back down. Because I screwed it. Oh, wait, wait. Who, what? Get the hell out of here. Stupid. Stupid penis ball. Yeah, get out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get out! Get out of here! All right. Mm, yeah. What the hell? You realize Ron Main's creation cannot be put in at all. So it is a toilet. That's hilarious. It opens its innocent eyes wide. You have to explain to it that this is to be done in order for it to be sent back to Ron May's side. Confess, why are you stirring up trouble on the space station? What the? It seems to believe that only by being passionate can it earn Ron May's approval. Skibbity toilet part two. Skibbity bop 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 yeah yeah. <laughs> It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. The cheese tart version. Ah. Oh. It seems eager to achieve great things and wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Tenderly activate the teleporter. Callously activate the teleporter. Tenderly. Oh my God. Ron May's little life form was ruthlessly flushed down the john. It will be safely transported to stars. <laughs> Went down the john. How's your progress? Sorry to interrupt. Come back first. An emergency's come up that requires your help. Oh my god. I just flushed the cheese tart down the goddamn toilet. <laughs> the cheese tart version. That's, that's wild, man. To be able to flush a cheese tart down the toilet and nobody be upset about it, that's crazy. All this free time, why not make the most of it with a game? Gotta go to her office. Wee 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 wee. I wanna talk to you. I wanna go in the office. What the heck is this game? This is Honkai Star Rail, the best mother flipping game on the planet. <laughs> it's just you're here. Yes, I am here. Berta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply, and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And mm. now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. God damn it, I don't want to go to a meeting! Why me? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters. Oh my god, who Even cares? Though, she probably wouldn't care anyway. Yeah, I don't care. Just she doesn't case, care. Who cares? I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Oh, I'm so Help flattered. Me. Please kill It'll me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. Aye, aye Captain. All right. All right. Fine. If Let's you go. insist. If you insist, I will be your little simp. All right. Simulated universe. I don't know what this universe I'm is. For you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Yep, I sure have. It's good to see you, sir. What's up, Screwum? This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Okay. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. I, I, I agree. I agree. Bow politely. Let 
let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. I'm you right here. Wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look. I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Why not? Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yeah, me. Yes, a fifth I want to be... Genius. I want to be involved. The I'm the genius. I'm smart. Present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! That sounds hey, that sounds Simon's fake as shit. That sounds like a fake ass name. I'm member number eighty three. Dang the print will take two hours. Oh shit. I believe Damn, you know, dog. I have a lot to talk about. Must be working real hard on it's it. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite I, some time. I want to meet the polka dance -amond. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Oh. That's a hard pass. I don't know if I Even like Screwlum. He's kind of weird. Shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers? The IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. Yeah, There's I don't want no to sit here. To take up other people's time. Of course, you brought him in after all. It's up to you. Yeah, it's taking forever. All right, let me walk you out. Thank you. Ah, oh, I feel so privileged Yay! to have her walk me out. Seems like a programming error. Steampunk robot oh, professor, what does this game not have? <laughs> it has everything, man. It's got it all. It got it all. Uh, have you seen this in the simulated universe? Uh, yes. The simulated universe is my home. What? <sighs> I'm speaking nonsense again. It's okay, so I can't talk about the simulated language. universe now? What the hell? <sighs> Fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I, yeah, I'm it, right. This, it, it's like, no, nope, no, nope, I don't care. Me? Doesn't involve me. Goodbye. I probably will. Records indicate he likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As uh, long as it helps I you do. with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. Okay, all right, fine. It appears You're screwing me up. Things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Sure. What you said. What is this? I want to touch it. I can't touch it. This place is crazy. If I get close to her, then it just... <laughs> it just slows me down so quickly. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. Oh well, that sucks. That sucks, I guess. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I didn't end up saying anything. Is there something I shouldn't hear? No, you misunderstand. While her is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook me some food. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Her oh, uses wow. that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. I wish I could store my headaches in different places. That would make things so much easier. What food is that? I am cooking an El Monterey uh, enchilada. Yeah, chicken enchilada. I'm hungry, so I want I want me some fat boy food before bed. 
Uh, there are other zones in the space station, so Herta gave you permission to use this place? Yes. She gave me permission and said no more. Oh, wow. I'm giving you my access card. Very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. It, it is very nice. Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Oh. Come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand. You're talking about that little tart bitch. Okay. All right, let's go then. Back to the storage zone. Let's go back to the storage zone yet again. What would a sealed zone look like? Your mama's ass. Oh, sorry. Not nice to say on Mother's Day. That's a long ass elevator. And a very pointy one at that. Damn. What? Why are you breathing so hard for? Like, what? <laughs> Broken shit? Uh oh. Oh shit! This game take up a lot of storage space? I don't have much left, so if it's decently small, I could get it. I don't think it was very much, to be honest with you. I can't remember, like, how big the game was. But I don't think it was that much. I mean, hell, it didn't really take up much on mine. Okay, so we're in a weird ass spot. Oh, wait a minute. Is this just like the top part? But built differently? This is wild, dude. What the hell? That's crazy. Find the mysterious little robot. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> there you are, you little shit. Yeah. Oh, break that. You like that little robot? What's up with this unit? It looks different from Damn, those enchiladas are smelling side. good. Buzz. It's a horror Buzz. game now, right? Zone. Yeah, Buzz. I'm going to look that up. To welcome though. alien species, galactic visitors. High risk zone. Buzz. Service staff. Inorganic life forms. Buzz. Permission status. Madam Ron Nay. Permissions granted. Madam Herta. Fine. As long as it keeps her happy. Buzz. Hunkai Star Rail takes 20 gigabytes. Just so you know. Why are you here? What is this zone for? Class 1 clearance zone. Buzz. Fried cold Three rice robot. <laughs> right. May include dangerous persons. Buzz. Oh. Storage for Madame Herta's dangerous curios. Buzz. Madame Ron May's cultivated life forms. Buzz. Stop saying buzz. Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Only 20 gigs, dang. That's pretty small, right? Classification of the robot's jobs. Uh, map. Basement 1. Transit hub. Buzz. Basement 2. Shuttle. Incubator. Dangerous curio storage. Buzz. Corridor. Danger. Buzz. Welcome. Visitor. What do you need? Buzz. <laughs> Genshin is like over 80, I think. That's crazy because it's made by the same people. And it seems like that there's not that much more that goes into this compared to that. Uh, where can I find the incubator? I want to see visitor logs. Madam Ron May. Buzz. Oh. Alien species. Buzz. That is all. So Ron May has been down here. Ah. Ron May! Feeling lucky. God damn it! 
You're making me touch other buttons. Ron May, get over here. Oh, I got I forgot I gotta do that. Uh oh. Well, we're going down. 70.65 gigabytes at least for Genshin. That's freaking nuts, dude. I don't know if I'll ever play Genshin Impact again, but I didn't like it the first time I tried it. I don't know if I'll like it this time. Or any time whenever I play it. Because I'm waiting on Weathering Waves for another game. Uh, basic treasure. I don't care about investigating shit. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to hit that because I need that now. Hit that. Little, little, little. I think... Was there something else this way? Oh, the food is ready. Yeah, is there something else this way? Yeah, there's some other stuff that's going on this way. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, investigate. This path is temporarily closed. Well, why? Why is it closed? I don't want it to be closed. Fortnite's almost 100 gigs. That that I believe that's insane it is insane but I mean shit look how much stuff that they throw in that game it's got to be a hundred gigs because they always put in these fancy uh, new updates and shit and they always have these events I liked Fortnite in the beginning but they put so much shit in there it's like okay it's too much I don't really care for it Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. I know I return and see water bending in Fortnite like bruh, yeah. Inclination. A yearning for That's a, that's what I'm talking about. Like it's just it, it's too much. It manifests as a natural inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother. Baby towards its a mother. Eventually, there's going to be a skin of me. Oh, dude. What's that sound out there? AI is going to make a skin out of all of us. <laughs> Find the source of the noise. Yeah, give me the space anchor. Investigate. What is that? Oh! This is the headache Ronme mentioned? Ronme? It's just a different flavor. Ronme. A different flavor? Mmm. Great bean paste. Are you hiding in the dessert? You're pretty scary. Meow. Ah, God, that was hot. Ah! Meow. The molten flower tart. That was molten lava that just went down my throat. Activate the synthesia beacon. Oh. Okay. Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> what the fuck? This sounds like a sad emo kid. You are a genius in your own way. Everyone feels down once in a while. <laughs> okay then seems deeply remorseful and there's a glint of resentment in his eyes as if it, as if it yearns for Ron May's acknowledgement. Why? Why right. am I the voice acting is crazy. I don't know. I didn't make you. Not my problem. You guys are Ron May's creation which appears to be waiting sadly for Ron May to come get it. I have compassion tongues What's tugs at voice? your heart. Uh, 
follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for Everything this will be okay. The next sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? Break in. Use a credit card on the door hinge. Wapa. Give me some treasure. Glad I came down here because apparently I was going to get lost if I didn't do this. And right now I'm already lost. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a bitch. I did not see that coming. Oh my god. No! Go away! No! Alright, safe zone. Jesus, that was frightening. The final days that member number 23, Echa, spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, have a limit. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms. <laughs> Made old jump scare. Which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. It almost sounds I like anesthesia. Lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar, have you ever felt this loss? <laughs> I've never felt this loss. Oh, oh hey. Too. Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Oh. So somehow that opens. I don't know how. Somehow it opens. Are you telling me ah! God damn it! All right, you know what? I'm just gonna have my characters oh, battle so I can eat. This, this is cheating, but you know whatever. Bust, or maybe I'll take it off. Bust. Spend freely. Eliminating threat. Yeah, kick their asses. Get them out of here. This should come back. No dirty tricks, alright. Well, that wasn't a very long battle. I was still eating. Three were ever in doubt. I'm safe. I'm in the safe zone. Are you telling me to keep going? Oh, I was going to get the treasure. Life is varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Of Ever course! Since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide. I bet she works for PETA. World, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. She seems very passionate about this shit. I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate. Would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is... And that is... And that is... 
Nothing. Oh, I gotta go that way. Alright, don't run into an enemy again. Read the record. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Ba basking in starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Sounds fitting. Yes. Accommodate gray bean paste. Oh, God. Stay here for a bit. So stupid. What a dumbass name. Did something just open? Yes. Something did. I don't know what it is, but we're going to go investigate. Ooh, so spoopy. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. What up, robot? Hey, the fried cold rice robot. Why? Why? Uh, show Ron May's card. Select from the below services. One, check historical incubation records. Two, inorganic life form companionship chat service. Hmm. Check the records. I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is an I don't know why I like the gambling guy's guy's design so much. He he looks pretty cool. I'll give him credit for that. Like that's probably one of the coolest characters that's in this game. So when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the eons than any other life form? At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Daisy Ronda. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It's oh. a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Will Herta and Skrulem like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Oh, so she's Permission using me. Buzz. That bitch. Alright, enjoy your stream. I'm a head out. Alright, man. Check you take it easy. Records. See you later. Two. Open incubator entrance. Check visitor Ron records. Ron May. Buzz. Mm. Alien species. Buzz. Man with plaster head, Buzz. Oh, plaster head. Seems like there's something new. Okay. Uh, open the entrance. There's a sound coming from above. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I want in here. Do 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 Oh, I was going the wrong way. All right. Hiya. Hiya. Open wide, say, uh, ah! 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 Stop it. Wait! Stop it! I don't want you here. Come on, come on, hurry up, elevator! Come on, come on, come on, elevator! Hurry up, come on! Into the safe zone. There's someone in the distance. Who are you? Oh, what the hell? Hmm. Here, a genius move. 
Oh. And how will you counter it? Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. Uh, Is this dude crazy? You look distressed. Something the matter? <clears throat> if that's the case, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Uh, you know what I'm looking Have for? I don't care about who you are. <laughs> the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament. I don't know. Just who are if you? What? Why do I need to go there? Help? Then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. Okay. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And oh. I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This Maybe. Was not my intended destination. Why would you like to know? I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you, will. you fail, you will. You I will, will intercede. To prevent some avoidable misfortunes. Oh yeah. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. Communication. Oh no, no, that that's the shadow. You're not a bad person after all. Why do you always or where why do you wear an alabaster head? Thank you for telling me that. I can't stand discourtesy. Even when it comes from myself. The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. I want to see it. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. All right, let's go. I want to see the masterpiece. I want to see the masterpiece. I want to see the masterpiece. Oh. Cool. Got some EXP, EXP, P, 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 P. God damn, how far does this go? Oh. Uh. Oh. What the hell? This is huge. The space station has an area this big? Apparently so. <clears throat> What the hell's going on? This is nuts. Are we gonna meet the creation? Are we gonna get our asses kicked by the creation? I want to see the creation. That's very sticky. That's so very sticky. Oh. Oh. Wow. An of it's funny. I'm not even How can that be? I'm I'm not even <laughs> using that character. Stay back, Clara. Sure, I'll play along. Uh -huh. Commencing research. I need to be brief. Hide. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Star. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This is a guarantee. Ow, ow. Jesus. Poor Clara. No! Stab it! Leave Clara alone! Freely. Have been bust. Or bust. I am gonna bust. What the hell? They keep spawning. Oh my god! They just won't stop spawning. Oh, damn, critical hit. Hell yeah. Watch your head. Everything is ordained by those stars. 
Okay, all right, Claire is good here. God damn. God damn. Oh, almost halfway. Ow. Sweet. All right, now they're halfway. Let's kick booty hole. Oh, god damn. Oh, Sparag is gonna kick their ass. Help me, Mr. Sparag. Sparag, help me. Help me, Sparag. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you beat the shit out of him. Oh my god. You bitch. Oh, dude's pissed. Oh! Oh, phase two shit! I forgot about that. Oh, dude is definitely pissed now, though. It's on me. The dice have been bust. Buzz? You're gonna buzz? You're gonna buzz? Hoa! Oh shit, that dude is pissed. Oh my god, stop multiply! Oh, oh my god. Ow. What the hell was that? Okay, alright, yeah, heal, heal. You're about dead. You're about dead anyway, and then everyone else is about to die. I'm not afraid of you! Well, it's not your turn yet. Alright. Leave my damn links alone! Son of a bitch! Stop! Are you kidding? Maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. God damn it. No! Don't you too. son of a bitch. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm very, very, very much screwed. Spend freely. <laughs> Ow. Stop it! Oh, what a bitch! Stop, you little shit! Oh my god, everybody keeps taking extra turns! Yeah, yeah, you guys need protection for sure. Y'all are about to die. The dice have been cast, bust. Yeah, get get rid of this big dude. He's pissing me off. He's almost at halfway now. Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, you suck ass! Sure, I'll play along. Spend free. Yep, defend. It's only the two of us now, Clara. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Don't die, y'all. We almost got this. Lynx just completely shit the bed. Stop! That's not cool! It's on me. The dice have been cast. Bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Bust them! Eliminating 
Oh, Sparag still went? Holy shit. Ow. Ow. Stop! Stop it, you little pecker. Please don't die. Y'all, please don't die. Oh my god, none of my characters will do anything now! What the hell? I can't control anybody. I can't control anybody. This is freaking stupid, dude. Are you kidding me? My entire team is just incapacitated. Oh my god, you're back. Thank god! Oh my god! You didn't even hit the big dude! The dice have been cast, boss. Or maybe I'll take it off. Defense now. I want to protect everyone. Tell me, Mr. Sparrow. Oh, my God, you are so close. So close. Oh, my God. We are like right there. Four percent. All right, all right, defend just so that way we're safe. Yep, I knew he was going to do that. Son of a bitch. Crit hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was so good. Oh, shit. No! Killed by the giant butterfly! After 56 seconds, the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hmm. Uh. The threat is over. Time to get going. Is what just happened? I... I need to get some answers out of wrong Uh, yeah, let's... let's get going. I... Let's figure out what the hell just happened there. That was nutty! That was so crazy! Ron May! I've got some questions for you, Ron Run me, get to quit for you. Run me, run me. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. Why not? What's important is your task. Hmm. Okay. You look upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. Yeah, this, this is some kind of crazy Reddit shit you're doing. Doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. It died on its own. Exactly as predicted. Fifty-six seconds. Oh, she knows. She knows. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. That's crazy. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. Why not? However, I find fault in even that. Even the briefest life should have meaning. Everything should live forever. I to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. <laughs> and it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. It almost ate me. <laughs> I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. Sure. Admit, sure. Okay. Where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations, 
An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. Wow. I have to admit that these little That's ones crazy. born in the process sometimes move me. I see a human-like response in them. It is a oh, we're back on the JPEGs. <laughs> that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They're still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That That's being so said, cute. can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is and cannot respond to their feelings. Well, that's screwed up. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Yes. You were a terrible There's person. There's no need to tell me your answer. Oh, I okay. Just... Well, don't ask questions, questions you don't want to know the answer to. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The yeah, that's fucked up. You give birth to them and then you just off. leave them. You hide them away. In the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. Uh, After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Memory dissipate? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Well, I got all this on recording, so I, I'll remember. Which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. That's crazy. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process, like the sweet fragrance. But I want to remember all this. What the hell? Awesome. Sticky rice and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. That way, that, the connection that's between life up. forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. It will make our lives more relaxing. No, I won't forget you. I believe you. What? Scrum what? We'll stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still That's remember the up. no man's land I mentioned? Yeah, I think. A solo trip back there I think so. Research downtime, just to see how things are. I miss member number fifty-five reaching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope I won't meet member number four Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Polka Kaka. When the next gathering of geniuses will be. Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Nope. I don't have shit to say. Do you trust me now? I find that difficult to answer. I thank you, Mr. Assistant. You're welcome! If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Sure, let's go. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. <sighs> oh. 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 <laughs> it's like, run me! What's up? Huh? That's too cute. Yay! Hooray!
when the stars of ingenuity rise, whatever. Run me! Hell yeah, I got to run me! 